Jay Creates Triple Sick, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. So, new season is upon us, Sower 3.0 is here, and I've got to say, so far, I am loving it. I'm going to share with you now my newest uh, Sower 3.0 Titan build. And it's highly survivable, lots of damage, and most importantly, lots of fun. You have a look at the gameplay, but we're going to be spamming this the new melee ability of the Titan. Giving us sunspots all over the place. It's going to be giving us healing. It's going to be giving us solar damage increases. And overall, this build is really good. So let's get into it. If you like the video, please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button for more Destiny content. And so, as you can see in the game, boy. Yeah. the slide. And we do an uppercut. That scorches all the target, that leaves us lots of sunspots, that gives us restoration, gives us radiant, so it gives us a solar weapon boost. All these good things that increase damage, increase healing, all these things. So, as you can, see, you can just see, as it goes through, and it, we get it back insanely fast as well. It works obviously so much better with the crowds, but we can just throw a hammer as normal if you wish. This slide and the slamming is what's all. All the wells, grab the wells, we've got over half back already. And if we'll get it back and sing it fast. As you can see, we are radiant, so it means we're doing more solar damage. We have pods of might on, because we've got solar weapon boost as well on top of that. And it back again, so spam it again. He's gone. Restoration as well, so we're, we're getting health back, we're healing. And. Just play about with yourself, see what you feel. But let's get into what they have actually got on and what the build actually is. We'll get into the fragments and aspects. You can, there is room to be played about. I've tried lots of different combinations, different exotics. And. I think so far this is this is the my favourite combination, my favourite build so far. So let's get into the build and what I'm actually using to make this all work and come together. So we are on Sunbreaker Titan obviously. We are using Hammer of Soul, because it's just it's just better than Burning Mole currently anyway. So we're using the throwing hammer. You can use shoulder sides if you wish. I just put like to have the option to have a throwing hat something I can throw as well as the sliding melee attack. Uh, soul grenades or thermite grenades are probably the best. I like the soul grenades myself. Now, aspects, this is what matters. Soul Invictus. So, we're, soul ability, final blows. Hammer of soul impacts and defeating scorch targets. Create sunspots. Your abilities regenerate faster. Your super drains more slowly while standing in the sunspot. Sunspots apply scorch and deal damage to targets inside. And entering the sunspot gives us restoration. And then we are using Consecration, so whilst we're sliding, we can activate a wave of solar energy, which damages enemies with Scorch. And as we leap into the air, we can activate our melee again, whilst we're airborne, to slam into the ground and give us a larger wave of solar energy, which will cause Scorch targets to ignite, which will give a nice explosion. Now for Fragments, we're using the powered melee attacks against combatants make you and our nearby allies radiant so that gives us an extra 25 percent damage to us and our allies whilst radiant we're going to be killing lots of enemies with melee attacks so we'll be raiding all quite often we're using ember of eruption so our, our ignitions when we explode people that's when we slam to the ground and they do solar explosions that's increased oh. area of effect and defeating scorched targets gives us back additional <laughs> melee energy so that's the fragments that's the aspects now to make it all work better now exotic wise i've played about a lot with the, either the lorry splendor helm or hard to be most light that's up to you play about with the two see what you feel i break it this way better just because it gives us more survivability and everything else so on the helmet we're using bountiful wells gloves elemental ordnance on our chest piece we're using explosive well maker, so there's going to be lots of enemy explosions, so it gives us more wells again. Boots, font of might, so picking up a solar elemental well gives us increased solar damage. And melee well maker, so. Give me the stick. 
Powered Mary Final Blows gives us well, so you can see there were spawning wells all over the place. What picking up wells will give us back our melees, our grenades, etc. I have reduced grenade. You can play about with all, all the other mods. That's up to yourself. Play about with them. I, as you can see, I'm using reduced melee when we pick up orbs, etc. And melee kick start is very handy. You could even double up on them if you've got enough energy. If you didn't want to use a stat increase. Uh, it's up to yourself, but that is what we're using. Play about with it. As you see in the game, but it is a hell of a lot of fun. Um, I will share a link in the description below to the dim, and there will also be all my builds are currently posted in my Discord, if you come across there. And once again, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and you can always catch me live on Twitch when I'm trying to come up with new builds and ideas and share all your ideas on there with me live or ask for help for anything, and until next time, I will catch you very soon.